seven of the top 10 players in the world are, and that includes John Rahm, top of the odds board here, guys, plus 800. Remember, this is where he charged to a six-stroke Saturday lead before he was told he tested positive for COVID last year. He broke down in tears, an emotional uh, moment for him. But right behind him, as you can see on your screen, the defending champ. So we have Patrick Cantlay plus 1,000. This has been Cantlay's tournament with wins in both 2019 2020. So you like betting him at this number, Jeff? Uh, no. Look, if <laughs> at some point in my life, I want to run as good as Patrick Cantlay betters did last year. But if you cashed in on Patrick Cantlay last year, don't double down. You're not going to run that good again. And also, Patrick Cantlay, I believe, was was a far bigger number last year than he was this year. Plus 1,000 for a guy who's coming off a missed cut at the PGA. Yeah, he's shown that he has it at, at certain points in the year. He's also just been very up and down. I think the big thing here is just where he is in the odds. If I'm taking anyone at plus uh, 1,000 or this range or like below plus 1,500, it's going to be Rory McIlroy this week. Um, you know, everything is working well. The off the tee game is, is set to dominate the approaches. He really just needs to sharpen the around the green game a bit. But much like Augusta National, you know, the, the way Muirfield Village sets up is you can just, you know, take advantage of these par fives. And Rory, when he's hitting every fairway out there like 330, he's going to have shorter irons in. Again, if that putter heats up even a little bit, you've got to love it. I think he's got a ton of motivation. He would love to add this event to his, his list of victories. Rory's the play for me under plus 1500 if you're going to the top of the market. Rom, not really in the best form. Cantlay. Ditto and way too short. Rory's the play for me. Okay, so Jason, in top of the market here, who, who's your guy? Uh, yeah, I'm going to disagree with Jeff on this one. And guys, there are maybe two or three times the entire year where I will say you got to play the favorite this week. Look, eight to ten, eight to one, ten to one. These numbers are way too short for guys to win golf tournaments. I don't care how good you are, the numbers should be longer. And so it's really hard to recommend a play at that type of price. And yet you look at John Rom won this event back in 2020 he was going to win last year he was 18 under through 54 holes the scoring record is 20 under he was about to smash it on sunday he got knocked out of the field we all know why uh, wound up winning the us open two weeks later okay happy ending all's well that ends well but there's still some unfinished business for rom i get it the short game hasn't been great this season uh, but the ball striking is still there and john rob with a little fire lit under him this week uh, looking to get something back that he lost last year. Uh, I think he's absolutely the play for me this week.